All right. Have you ever been at home and wanted some something to munch on, you know, the munchy foods and whatnot, and you know, you're just tired of eating the same old thing, you know, eating a whole box of oatmeal cream pies or honey buns, and you're like, want a different alternative, um, or a better alternative than eating the whole, whole uh, box. Uh -oh. oh, God. Ooh, I'm getting nervous, sorry. That's <laughs> all over. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, so, uh, I know you may not be a culinary arts master or anything like that, but I know that following these simple steps using Pico uh, will help you make something delicious and something a little bit more healthier than uh, a whole uh, box of cream pies. Uh, oh shoot. First thing you want to do is you want to, you want to pick out your material. If you have a bunch of materials you might want to need. Um, after that, you want to initiate the dicing. You want to combine it all together, and you want to ooze the juice out of the lime. Now, once you get all that together, you want to serve it to everybody, or friends, family, or yourself, really. Uh, now, with the picking material, the first thing that you want to that you need is you're gonna need a cutting board, right? Now, this looks a little dirty. I cleaned it, Lysol it for the coronavirus and everything, so it's clean. Promise. Chips. All right. A knife, I brought a butter knife. I cut everything beforehand, so I didn't bring, want to bring nothing sharp. So, you're gonna need a knife. And then you're gonna need some veggies. Now, I brought all this on the plate. This is not cut up, I just brought this with me. So I have onions here, I have limes, tomatoes, and cilantro, and sereno peppers. If you don't know what sereno peppers are, they're hot, they're pretty much hot peppers. They're they're pretty warm. I don't like hot stuff for real. All right, let me put these gloves on. All right. You're also gonna need a bowl to put all these ingredients into. Um, now, uh, now that I'm done with picking out all material, I can go down to the initiate dicing, and you want to dice everything up. The onions, the tomatoes, and the cilantro. Because cilantro comes like this, comes like a pack, like a little bundle like this. I used half of the cilantro. So this is about half that's left after me cutting it all up. And all the rest of it is in here that I've already made. Because I didn't think I'd have enough time to, to cut and demonstrate all of this. Uh, now the cool thing with the peppers though, if you do like hot stuff, with this pepper, I left the vein on the inside which basically just has seeds, so it'll make it pretty hot if you leave all that in there. And uh, with what I made though, I made it like this. I cut out the vein, took out all the seeds so it's not so hot. And the lime, you're gonna wanna cut that in half. You're not necessarily dicing the lime. You wanna cut that in half because you're gonna squeeze the lime into the chunky salsa. All right, now, um, I brought all these ingredients. Right here we have the cilantro. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that right there. Here's some this, uh, the peppers. I got the onions. And then tomatoes. And if you're really close, you can actually smell it. It actually smells really good. 